Well, the latest purchase of the original Copper Cellar could be making room for more student housing along Cumberland Avenue, which you see right here. This could be pushing, however, local businesses out. Tonight, our Gwendolyn Decree shares why many say the strip as we know it is slowly stripping away. A barber commonly known behind her clippers, now preparing to be the one getting cut. Well, I've been dodging the bullet since 2016. History might be repeating itself for business owner Monica Landris. Across nearly a decade, she says she's been forced to move her barber shop out of buildings being replaced by student housing along Cumberland Ave. It's been a way of life. According to the Registry of Deeds office, that could be the case for her neighbors, the original Copper Cellar restaurant. The property owner recently sold the historic building to Core Knoxville, which manages apartment complexes across the city, leaving some college students to wonder what's going to happen to this historic building. They need more housing, definitely, but you don't want to see stuff like this like torn down. While we haven't heard back from either property owners to learn exactly what's going to happen, Landry says she was told her building was also sold. There's no point in, in being bitter. You know, I think these people are they're they're making deals that they need to make and making good deals for their families. And you just pick yourself up by the bootstraps and you go. You know, you continue on. That's what you do. Other business owners in the same building got the same news and tell me they're preparing to leave when their lease is up this summer. As for Landris, she might be getting clipped again, but she's not going far. Well, it's my life. It's all I've ever done. I, I mean, I can't imagine having to be, get, go away from, you know, the students, the the the, the sports. You know, um, this is what I've what I've done. In Knoxville, Gwendolyn Ducree, WVLT News. Campus cuts by Monica's relocating to University Commons near the Publix in July.